We're given the cost in dollars to produce X designer dog leashes is C of X. The revenue in dollars is R of X. We're asked to find the profit function, find the number of leashes that need to be sold to maximize profit, find the maximum profit, and finally find the price to charge per leash to maximize profit. Recall profit is equal to revenue minus cost, and therefore the profit function P of X equals R of X minus C of X. So for part A, again the profit function P of X is equal to the revenue function minus the cost function, which in our case gives us the quantity negative 2X squared plus 87X, and then minus the cost function, giving us minus the quantity 7X plus four. It is important that we have the cost function in parentheses so that we subtract the entire function. And now we clear the parentheses and combine like terms. We can go ahead and drop the first set of parentheses. We have negative two X squared plus 87 X. And now subtracting the cost function, we have minus seven X minus four. And now we combine like terms. Notice we have two X terms. 87X minus 7X simplifies to plus 80X. This gives us the profit function P of X equals negative 2X squared plus 80X minus four. And now for part B, actually part B and C go together to find the number of leashes that need to be sold to maximize the profit and then to find the maximum profit we need to find the vertex of the parabola given by the profit function. Notice P of X is a quadratic function where the leading coefficient A is equal to negative two. We should recognize the graph is going to be a parabola that opens down, meaning it looks something like this, and therefore the vertex will indicate the number of leashes that need to be sold to maximize the profit as well as the maximum profit. The X coordinate will give us the number of leashes that need to be sold to maximize the profit and the y coordinate or function value P of X will give us the maximum profit. So for part B, we need to find the X coordinate of the vertex, which is X equals negative B divided by two A, where for our function P of X, notice A is equal to negative two, B is equal to 80, and C is equal to negative four. Negative B is equal to negative 80, and then two times A is two times negative two. This gives us negative 80 divided by negative four, which is equal to positive 20. 20 leashes need to be sold to maximize profit. And now for part C, now that to find the maximum profit, we need to determine the profit when X equals 20, meaning determine the function value P of 20. So P of 20, is equal to negative two times the square of 20 plus 80 times 20, and then we still have minus four. The function value is equal to 796, the maximum profit. Before we go to part D, let's go ahead and verify this using desmos.com. Let's graph the profit function and verify the vertex is 20 comma 796. So I've already entered in the profit function here on the left, the graph is on the right, and we can see the vertex is 20 comma 796, which verifies parts B and C are correct. And now for part D, we're asked to find the price to charge per leash to maximize the profit. To determine the price to charge, we need to find the total revenue when 20 leashes are sold, and then divide by 20, the number of leashes. So again, the price to charge to maximize the profit, in this case is equal to the revenue when X equals 20 divided by 20. Well, R of 20 is equal to negative two times the square of 20 plus 87 times 20, and all this is divided by 20. R of 20 is equal to 940, and then we divide by 20, which is equal to 47. The price per leash should be $47 to maximize profit. I hope you found this helpful.